Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the year of 2016. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This year, we are going to have a series of eclipses like we normally do. They're, they come in pairs. They happen twice a year. This year, it is March and September that you really want to watch. And eclipses in general tend to speak to you more strongly than they might for other signs. And that is because the moon is your ruling luminary. And the moon is intimately involved in any eclipse that takes place, whether it is a solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse. So we've got these eclipses taking place in parts of the sky for you that have to do with rationality, and communication and belief and wisdom. There's a type of truth that comes from focusing in on the details of what is being said, understanding things from a bit of a detached perspective and seeing things in a way that ultimately allows you to dissect exactly what it is that is being shared, being communicated, and ultimately learning something new, likely a new skill in the process. And then there is a type of wisdom that comes from exploration, that comes from considering what you believe. What do you believe about yourself, about life? What do you believe is the meaning of it all? Does it even matter to you? Are you choosing beliefs that empower you or not? These eclipses ultimately say that you are very likely going to be taken on more than one adventure, very likely to have some very chance encounters with key people who change the way that you look at the world, in some cases for a very, very long time to come. So a simple interaction can make such an impact on you that it shifts your worldview and helps you to see things very differently and ultimately helps you to understand your place in the world that much more differently as well. So we've got these eclipses happening. Ultimately what these are saying is open your eyes, open yourself to possibilities, but also recognize the strength and the humility that comes from knowing that there's always more to know. Understand what truth is empirical and what truth is relative. And when you make that distinction, you're able to get along that much better, understand that much better the people around you and ultimately in a wider sense in terms of the people in the world. So we have you having the real opportunity to take some chances, to take on some adventures, to do some traveling, to explore different philosophies and to interact with people that maybe represent groups or beliefs that you have not interacted with before. And this ultimately does change you in key ways, in important ways, moving you in a more positive direction. This is by far the more important thing that is going to take place for you over the course of this year. But what we also have happening, especially once we move to the later part of the year, is Jupiter is going to move to home base. So this ultimately is your home in the sky. This part of the sky is where you naturally feel comfortable. Jupiter moving in here says you are going to find a home and you are going to feel right in it. If you have a home already that you love, you will love it even more. You will make it even more your own and very likely will catch a lucky break or two or three where it comes to making improvements to where it is that you live or moving to someplace more ideal. And if you want to do that, that very much can be on offer for you now. And again, very much by surprise, seemingly come out of nowhere changing roommates, redecorating, all of that, very blessed for you to make your home feel that much stronger. When you have a cancer, someone who is a cancer, home has to be right, okay? So every sign has an area of life that has to be right for them to feel that they then can go out into the world and do all kinds of, all kinds of things. And for you, it really is home. 
Home has to be a place of strength, of consistency, where you feel the ground is yours and it is strong, that you have your space to nurture who you are, to understand your feelings and to create an environment that resonates as right for you. So taking care of your home and making sure that it feels more like home becomes that much more important and you are just going to find your home first. You'll be out in the world. You'll be exploring. You'll be considering before you come back to yourself and realize that you now know yourself and understand home to be a very different place, a much better place than you knew it to be before. Where it comes to love, we have for much of the beginning of the year, you want to continue to watch this supremely harmonious conversation that is taking place between Pluto and Jupiter. These are happening in areas of the sky for you that speak to conversation, communication, and of course, love Pluto in your opposite sign. This is a very, very helpful, a very helpful conversation to help you move towards greater love, to welcome in new love that is truly meaningful, that resonates very strongly with you. And if you are in an established bond to deepen that bond that much more, this is a very supportive conversation. If you want to not only experience greater love, but also to feel like the people that are around you, particularly the romantic, the one-on-one -on -one connections are really supporting you, making your life better, making you understand things, or at least being part of a process that helps you to communicate better, to share better, to feel a greater sense of naturalness with this person. Very likely if you're in an established bond, your partner will be going through some really positive stuff, right? Positive occurrences all around of their own, going through some explorations of their own as well, learning new things and very possibly experiencing a greater sense of prosperity. And if you are open to new love, you will find yourself having uh, some very interesting conversations, inner dialogues that suggest you looking at healing, advancing an understanding of what you believe you deserve, what you know it is that you deserve. So there definitely is love on offer. This is the type of love that is very meaningful and truly does have the potential to last if you will give it time to fully nurture. And especially if you make a connection on a mind level, if you feel that this is someone you can really talk to, that you really can be present with to share some of the smaller moments in life, it makes that bond that much more stronger. What I love about this year for you is that there is all around positive change. You're considering your place in the world. You're reaching further than ever before. You're making advancements. You're learning more, but also expanding your vision. And at the same time, love is becoming a stronger area for you. The people who present themselves change you in fundamental ways and ways that you like very much. And the one that you love, that you are with, that you are committed to, well, that bond goes through a very positive evolution as well, changing you not only in terms of ways that you like, but changing you and ultimately helping you to see how much more is possible for you. A truly encouraging partnership in love, especially, but in business as well can form under this sky. Reach out to people, spend time with people, talk to as many people as you can, because ultimately they are going to be the ones to impart the most important gifts you are to receive this year. Bu akşam seminerimizi canlı olarak mobil uygulamamız üzerinden yapıyoruz.